Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and explain to you exactly how to expand your PlayStation 5 storage. Now, you will be in the future be able to actually install PlayStation 5 games onto these hard drives or SSDs, but unfortunately for now, only PlayStation 4 games are supported, which is totally okay. Eventually, Sony is going to push out that update and I'll update you guys when that happens. But all you need to do is make sure you have a USB hard drive or USB, any type of external drive, it doesn't matter, as long as you can plug it into the back of the console. Unfortunately, I don't think the front works, but the back of this console is where you want to plug it in. So you want to turn your PlayStation 5 around. You want to plug in your specific hard drive into that specific port on the back. One of those is fine because those are both high speed transfers. So once you go ahead and plug that in, you're pretty much already halfway done. What you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings app. And once you're in the settings app, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you find storage. Now, once you're in storage, you'll have a couple of different options. You'll see the top one, which says console, and then you'll see the bottom one, which says extended. Now you want to scroll down to the extended option is you should have it if you plugged in your hard drive correctly. And you'll pretty much get this pop up if it's your first time plugging it in, that'll say, you know, you need to format your specific hard drive. If you don't see that, then that may mean you already have formatted it or the hard drive that you got was formatted, aka if it's like a specific game hard drive for your PlayStation 4 that you got a GameStop or something, then it may already be formatted for you. And then once you format it, it could take a couple of minutes, but do keep in mind that everything is going to be deleted when you format it. It's not like it's going to keep everything on it. It's going to totally delete everything from that. So definitely keep that in mind. <laughs> I hope you don't, you know, have anything crazy, you know, that's, a, you know, pertinent to you. If you do, I'd recommend backing it up and then formatting because formatting is going to delete everything. But once you go ahead and actually format it, you'll pretty much come into a page that looks like this and you're pretty much done. It'll go ahead and say, you know, PS5 or PS4 game drive. As of right now, it's only PS4 games. But like I said, in the future, that's going to change hopefully soon. And then you'll have a couple of different options. You'll see always install PS4 games to extended storage. So whenever you go ahead and actually install a PS4 game as of right now on your PlayStation 5, it'll go ahead and just, you know, transfer it straight into your external storage. But the more important thing to keep in mind is that in the future, PlayStation 5 games will hopefully be supported. That's what Sony is saying. And I think they're actually probably going to end up doing it. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well, my Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.